In the last episode of my PvP Locked Hardcore Iron Man, I said this. I will be attempting this fire cape with the same crossbow I'm wearing right now. So here's where we left off the last episode where I said I was going to get my fire cape with a bone crossbow. Let's continue on with the progress. Also, I just made an Instagram, so if you guys want to follow that, it's linked down below, instagram.com slash ditter underscore bitter. Okay, and this is my master plan, which is actually incredibly stupid. I'm going to the Edgeville Chaos Druids, which are the most, you know, obvious Chaos Druids that I would go to. So the chances of me getting found here are extremely high, but I can use a looting bag in the wilderness, because, so my trips will be a lot longer, I'll collect a lot more herbs, and in the long run, as long as I don't die, it'll go well. Looting bag first kill, let's keep it going. Now before we carry on with this video, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a VPN service that allows you to stay protected on the internet at all times. It masks your IP address so it's great for protecting yourself from DDoS attacks. If someone has your actual IP address, they can DDoS you and take your internet connection offline which could result in you losing your items while playing RuneScape, and this is a risk you don't have to take while using ExpressVPN. I personally use it to keep myself protected, but also all the time when I'm Netflix and chilling as there's a lot of content not available in New Zealand. I can change my countries to others around the world in order to gain access to content I wouldn't normally be able to. For example, in New Zealand Netflix, there's no Harry Potter. But in Canada Netflix, there's Harry Potter. They've hooked it up before, and they're hooking it up again. You guys can find out how to get three months free by clicking the link in the description, or you guys can go to expressvpn.com slash didabitter. You guys can get this on any device you have, so I definitely recommend checking them out. And once again, a big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. 30 range. Okay, I may have underestimated how much food I actually need at this combat level, but our looting bag's pretty much full, but we have no food. I'm gonna run back to Edgeville and hopefully there'll be no one there at that bank, and then I could just keep coming back because I don't want to log out and let people find out that I'm here. Okay, I forgot to bang my looting bag by mistake, so we still have all those herbs plus another inventory. Okay, another inventory done. Haven't run into any problems yet. Okay, another inventory. We're at 38 range, almost at 40, so we can buy ourselves green dehyde in a bit, and we've got a bunch of herbs. More herbs, we are almost 40 range as well, I just hit a skeleton, but we're completely out of jugs of wines, so it's time to make another trip. Hopefully we don't get deboed out there and we can make our way back here. Okay, we got some cash left over so we can buy green DI chaps and the vamps for when we hit 40 range. Okay, and this should be 40 range if I'm not mistaken, it is, we can put on our green dehyde now. That is a significant upgrade for now. Alright, another inventory done, if anyone catches me out here I get one hit because I walk back to edge bank instead of teleporting out and I have no food. But we got hella herbs. Stacking up the herbs and the law runes somehow. Alright, it is time to start the herbal training. We have a bunch of guans, so we're just going to start off with that first. Okay, let's make 81 attack potions. Okay, well herbal sucks because I just made 80 attack potions. I'm only at 21. Okay, next up we have Taramin and Harrowlander herbs. Okay, those are all the herbs clean, but I actually need 46 limpet roots to make strength potions with this. So I guess we're going to go kill hill giants unless there's any other better place to get limpet roots from. Apparently hobgoblins are better to do and I can safe spot them in edge dungeon too, so we're going to do that instead. Oh my god, what, what? There's a level 54 and I panic tellied, bro. Alright, we're gonna be here for a while, hopefully no one finds us and we can get like 46 or whatever it is, limper roots. The ultimate Iron Man locked to PvP world just pulled up on me. I don't know if I can trust him or not. If someone tries to attack me because they know I'm here, it's definitely gonna be him, but we'll see. Alright, I've killed 80 hobgoblins, I only have 10 limper roots, I'm at 46 range. This is going very slow, maybe I should learn how to do farming, but I mean, it's the only thing we could do right now. Okay, first 10 strength pots were made and it lost 23 herb lore. Okay, I'm putting herb lore and range training on pause for a second because I've just had a revolutionary idea. And if it works, it's going to play out well in the long run. We are going to make our way to Pyramid, go get loads of money, and after that I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. To go to the Pyramid, I'm teleporting to Camelot, and then I am going to the gliders to Alcarade because I don't want to go to Lumbridge and get scouted there. Okay, I didn't see a single scout on the way here, so I think we should be able to do Pyramid Untouched today. Which is nice, let's go and do it. Oh, how far we've come from the first episode, which was two episodes ago. 85k from one inventory and we're not done here. Okay, up to 150k almost now. Just hit 50 agility. Okay, we're out of food here, so we're gonna call it at 200k and it's time to move on to the next part of the plan. All right, now the reason why I've stocked up all this cash is because I need to be buying three different things from three different places. I need to be buying emeralds from the gem trader. Now, there's only one emerald in each world and I only have access to the PvP worlds. I don't know how long it takes to respawn, but I only have three worlds to do it and I need about 16 emeralds, so we're just gonna be doing this over the course of the next couple hours, as well as buying the other stuff we need. It's just the starting three emeralds. We are also very quickly gonna get ourselves a ring mold, as we're gonna be making rings of dealings out of these. 
The next thing we need to do is get death runes. We're going to get 500 of them for now, but we're going to need more in the future. I'm trying to save as much GP as possible, so we're going to be hopping wealth after every purchase. All right, we've got 200 of them for the lowest price possible. We're going to buy the rest of them later. Okay, teleporting to Camelot now. We're going to pray mage and just run south. Hopefully no one's waiting for us. Okay, I'm now going to be doing the next pick with literally two food in my inventory. I'm going to be buying 10 buckets of sand and 10 soda ashes from every charter ship thingamajiggy that I can on each world and just stocking these up for crafting XP, so I'll be back when we're done with this. The good part about this is I can honestly never see myself getting attacked at Port Kazard, because who comes to Port Kazard? So for my Rings of Dueling, which is what I'm going to be making, I need gold bars. Right now I only have 5, which I guess I got from Quest. I need a total of 16 or however many Rings of Dueling I'm going to make. And the only way I can think of to get them right now is to telegrab them from under the Varak West Bank in every single world. And that will get me 4 gold bars every single time I come here. So now our gold bar collection is up to 9 gold bars, and while I'm here I'm going to go get some more death runes. Okay, that's 500 death runes, we're just going to buy a bunch of air runes while we're here too. Okay, and that is all the air runes for now, now we're going to go back on our emerald grind. So by the time I get back here, the emeralds are in stock again, so I just have to switch between this and buying buckets of sand and soda ash every now and then. Okay, it's time to go back to the charter ships, get some more buckets of sand and ash, and then we're actually going to start making it into molten glass. Okay, final sweep, after this we're going to making our way to Port Fatimatis, and we're going to start doing our crafting. If I get hit here, it's a wrap. Alright, we're chilling so far. Okay, this bank is safe, but everything outside it isn't. I honestly doubt I'm gonna get attacked here because I don't think many people know what I'm doing right now. But if I do, uh, rest in peace. Okay, on the off chance someone does find me here, I'm gonna have a Camelot Tele just to click on so I can use it instead of running back. Okay, so I didn't get attacked at all and I got myself to 20 crafting just from making the molten glass. Now I'm going to blow it with a blowing pipe and that should get me to 27 crafting if I've done my calculations correctly. Okay, and that is 27 crafting, and for the life of me, I cannot understand how people do this method for their Zenites on their actual hardcores. Anyway, we can now make emerald rings. Okay, I don't know where I have these uncut emeralds from, but I actually have way more emeralds than I thought I had, which is very, very nice. Let's go do this. Okay, I don't actually have a chisel to cut these emerald with, so we're just going to use the ones that we have. We have 9 gold bars and 9 emeralds so far, so we're just going to make these into uh, emerald rings. I think this is how you do it, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Okay, now I just need to go get four more gold bars and we can make these ones as well. Okay, time to collect the last four gold bars. Okay, and that is the last four gold bars collected. Let's make these rings. Okay, teleporting in the Fowler. I'm literally just gonna have the Kami teleport ready if I see a red dot. Okay, we're chilling. Last four emerald rings made. Okay, level three scout here, but that's not the point. The point is we gotta enchant all these emerald rings. And you guys may be wondering for the past couple of minutes, Ditter, what are you doing? And I'm about to show you. Give me like a minute. Okay, that is all the emerald ring. 13 rings for now, 13 times 8. I don't know how to do that math, but I think that's over 100 teleports. Now, you may be wondering why I have all these rings of dueling. Now, I think a week or two ago, Jax released another shitty PvP update, and they introduced the uh, Ferox Enclave into the wilderness, wherever it is, it's like here. Now, there's a ring of dueling teleport to here, and all the way west, on the west side of the wilderness, is the crazy archaeologist. Now, if you guys know anything about Iron Man and Crazy Archaeologists, that's where people go to get their rune crossword drops. Now, hence the name, no pray flick. I don't know how to pray flick. I also don't have prayer pots yet because I got too, way too lazy on the herb lore grind. So my plan is to go do a Crazy Archaeologist uh, kill, teleport using the Ring of Dealing to the Ferox Enclave, where there are two altars which replay, re uh, regenerate my prey and my run. So I'm going to literally do one Crazy Archaeologist kill, teleport to the Enclave and run back and keep on doing this until I get my rune crossbow, or, well, I die. But I'm hoping this is the master plan. I don't think anyone would have thought of this because even I didn't think of it until like four hours ago. So let's do this shit. Hopefully it works. Come on, guys. It's a master plan. Also, I just realized in the last episode, I told you guys I was going to get my fire cape with a bone crossbow. Guys, did any of you really believe that? That was just to throw you guys off the scent, okay? I know I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. But I don't know how to do jad, bro. I'm not doing that shit with a bone crossbow. I'm getting myself a rune crossbow. Sorry. Okay, I need a monk robes because otherwise I don't really think the kills are possible otherwise. Okay, time to do our first ever crazy archaeologist kill because I don't really know what I'm doing. Dude, I'm literally about to run out of prayer. I haven't even done one kill. Oh my god, maybe this plan was terrible. I don't know. Was the plan terrible? I'm trying to one tick prey flick right now. It's not working. Please, just kill him. Please, please, please. Oh my god, okay, we got one kill done. Did we get a rune crossbow? No, we didn't, but we got one kill done so far, and I used all our prayer points. I don't know if this is going to work. We started with five less prayer points than we should have, though, so maybe it will work. Okay, so right now there's no one here in this world, which is really good, because as soon as someone scouts me here, they might figure out what I'm doing, 
and that's when things go bad. But as long as no one sees me leaving like this, I can just run all the way back there and do a kill like that. Okay, it basically uses all our run energy to get here, which honestly isn't too bad, and we can just start another kill. Okay, I'm still sussing it out, but I think our prayer should be just enough to get these kills, so I think this plan is going to work. <gasps> no way, dude. No way. Second kill count, rune crossbow. Oh my god, that's so nice. Second KC rune crossbow. The plan paid off. Incredibly lucky. I didn't even have a teleport for over 20 wilderness, so if someone did attack me here, I was 100% dead. Friendly reminder to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and help us on the road to 100k subscribers. Alright, it's time to start working on animal magnetism now that we have our rune crossbow and we need to get ourselves 35 wood cutting. Okay, and that's 15 fletching. Alright, 35 wood cutting, it's time to go get our first slayer task of the series. We've also been killing imps to try and get beads for imp catcher. Okay, time to get our first slayer task. We got goals. So level 1, 2, 4, Brad Pid. Oh my god, bro. The level 50 just came to follow me as I got into the bank. The 1, 2, 4 must have been with him. Alright, we found the ghouls or whatever. I really doubt I'll get attacked here and I've only got 12 to do. First task done, we're at 12th Slayer. And we spotted Solo Mission again. Good morning, good morning. Teleport to Lumbridge is a level 53 with Dragon Knives and I guess he has the Volatile Staff as well. Not a very good thing to be looking at right now. Okay, I think I need to put on that toggle for harder tasks because cave bugs just aren't cutting it. And there is Mr. Solo Mission with his volatile nightmare stuff. He figured out I was going to Vanica, so I logged in a little bit to the south just to see if someone would be there. And lo and behold, Solo Mission is waiting for me to train Slayer. What a guy. Okay, considering Solo Mission and whoever else is hunting me knows that I'm doing Slayer right now, they know I need that Slayer requirement for animal magnetism. They're going to find me at Ivanica and my Slayer Toss. It's way too risky to do right now. So I'm going to do something even more riskier. I'm going to go back to Crazy Archaeologist using the method we were using before. Now you may be wondering why I've already got my rune crossbows. Well, I need to get 38 Herblore before I can get my first Prayer Potion. But Crazy Archaeologist actually, I think, has a 1 in 15 drop rate for Prayer Pots. They also have an Amulet of Power and Red Dehyde Body Drop, so if I pull any of those, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, we're in the high-risk world for this one because I don't think Solo Mission will want to risk his Volatile Nightmare stuff if he does try to come hunt me, so I won't get one hit. Anyway, let's go do it. 54 magic, nice. Okay, 5 prayer points left on that one. Cannonballs drop? I'm not too disappointed with that, not gonna lie. Okay, if anyone scouts us, our trip is effectively over, but there's no one here right now, which is very nice. Another kill, what are we getting ourselves? Silver Ore. Okay, I actually had a lot of prayer left for that one, and we got some more silver ore. Awesome. I just want the world to know I'm a PVM machine. Red dragon hide as well. We have no uses for that currently, but I think that's still a nice draw. Alright, another kill, please. Silver ore, man. AKC, please give me a prayer pot drop. Grimy dwarf weed. Malediction shard 2. Jesus Christ. Oh, on this account, on a level... 43 hardcore Iron Man. I've got the Malediction Shard 2. I think that's the rarest drop. Can't even get myself a Prayer Pot or an Amulet of Power drop. It's a very nice drop to have, I guess, though. Very cool. Now, I don't know if we're ever going to make the full shield out of this because that requires a lot of will debossing, but you never know. Okay, this kill went a little haywire, not going to lie. Um, okay, we just got it. Nice. And more Cannonballs. 10kc, we're going to leave it here. 300 Cannonballs off Crazy Arc. We're back for a task, and there's no solo mission in sight yet. Okay, we're good. Cave crawlers. Okay, there's people in pretty much every world. They're just going to trust that these two guys, high risk fighting, have want nothing to do with me. Neither does that level 13, and we're going to run away and go get some anti poison. Some DMM strats coming in. There's a super anti poison spawn here that has a respawn time of like a minute. All right, let's get cave crawling. Okay, and that is 18 Slayer. Yes, we did manage to get ourselves poisoned, so we are out of here, but we now do have all our animal magnetism requirements. Okay, the first clue scroll of my life ever, an easy casket. What do we get? Gothic's page four, cool. Third episode in, 10 crazy archeologists KC with no prayer pots, rune crossbow, and a malediction shard acquired. All we need for the fire cape now is prayer pots from our 37 ranners and bolts for our crossbow. If you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are new and help us on the road to 100k subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, if you have any suggestions on what I should do during this series in order to become a better player or just to progress faster, let me know because it may be apparent I don't know what I'm doing.